Lazy K Homestead. Willis is doing the rest of the tilling so we can get the cabbage and broccoli in today. It's a really nice day and the signs are right, so we're going to go ahead and plant. We'll go ahead and pause you for a minute until he gets this finished and then we'll go to planting. Okay, guys, we're back. Make sure, yep, we're recording. We're going to go ahead and plant cabbage. Um, my cabbage didn't do good in my greenhouse this year, so we had to buy it from Bonnie Plants. I don't know what happened with those seeds, but they were all new seeds. But um, what we do is we try to use as much of our own um, homestead manure as possible. And today we're going to use rabbit manure. Rabbit poop! <laughs> And rabbit manure is one of the manures goats too, I've read. I don't have goats yet, but you can go ahead and, and put it right on your plants. It's never hot, mainly because it's all plant-based. We live on a busy street. Well, it's actually a country road, but you'd never know it. But anyways, while Willis is digging the holes, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause you guys for a little bit so we can, because uh, I can only record for about 20 minutes on this camera, so we can get most of it in. Go ahead. Well, I thought about doing was putting uh, some rabbit paper in the hole. Okay guys, we're back. Willis is going to put the rabbit manure, um, and it's also got straw in there. So that's really good for aerating your soil. And we're going to go ahead and just plant right on top of this and then cover it with dirt. That way the, the cabbages will really get some good uh, manure, a good start. It's got a lot of nitrogen, but it also has a lot of other goodies in it too, which that will grow some 20 pound cabbage. That would be cool. Let's see, what are these called? Like I said, these are Bonnie's because mine didn't do well. Bonnie hybrids. And I think we have some um, early Copenhagen too. So we're just going to start planting until the video goes off. So um, if it goes off and we're still planting, please like, share, and subscribe. We'd really like to get your support. Hope you enjoy. Um, Make sure you water your cabbages. We're going to plant broccoli too over here. And uh, check them every day. You have to cover them if it's going to be a hard frost. They do bounce back, but unless you cover them, it takes them a while. So like I said, here we go with our planting. them out like that and because these are pretty leggy we're gonna go ahead and plant down to here pretty deep I'm gonna pull these these leaves off and whenever you have cabbages or broccoli after they're growing and you see some yellow leaves you want to pull them off because that actually attracts bugs and there's a pretty little blue butterfly that likes to lay eggs on cabbages and broccoli and they're not our friend <laughs> So we're planting pretty deep down here. Pull all your soil around there. Is it working? Yeah. Okay. Good. Working good. I'll go ahead and get down here so I can uh, get it done. That'd be great. Yeah, if, if uh, these cabbages do well, they usually do really good right here. Good old fried cabbage. Yeah. We'll do a video on the kraut and fried cabbage. The kraut is uh, Willis's uh, mom and um, grandmother's recipe. Which if is... you handle this poop with your bare hands, you need to wash your hands before you cook. <laughs> I know. Yeah. 
which we do. We handle it with our bare hands. We're just old country folks. It's got a smell to it. <laughs> Not as bad as chicken manure. <laughs> Also, what I wanted to tell you was, on your your stick that comes in here, your little label, it'll tell you full sun, six to eight hours. Cabbage, these cabbages are Bonnie Hybrid, and they're about 75 days. I believe the early Copenhagen are 60 days. But about halfway through the growing season, when the cabbages start to head good, you want to side dress with some kind of fertilizer, whether it be, you know, bought from the store or some more rabbit poop or um, compost, chicken manure, but that'll give it a little uh, boost of energy to um, keep growing and make a nice big head of cabbage or broccoli.
chocolate, yeah. How many cabbages are there? Uh, it should be 18. Yeah. That'll be good. That'll give us enough for kraut and some fried cabbage because we're out of kraut. Fried cabbage, fried squash, no, corn on the cob, fresh green beans. Big pound of cornbread, sliced tomatoes and cucumbers. Yeah. Don't even have to have a piece of meat. Yeah, that's what we were raised up on. Garden food. When you get that down, I got some more stuff for you to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, the cabbies are done. Pause. Pause. I guess I can't see. Nope, it's it's still okay guys we're back we're gonna go ahead and uh, plant some broccoli waiting for Willis to fill the holes with the rabbit manure oh, we're pooped already when you come out from the winter time and you haven't done a whole lot you get worn out easy don't you yeah it's like weekend warriors yeah out of shape I'm a truck driver yeah. Even if you do stuff every day, you don't do this physical work, and it does. It takes a while for your body to get used to it, but by the end of summer, we're back in shape. <laughs> Maybe not skinny, but we're back in shape. Yeah. So let's see. I don't know what kind of broccoli this is. Let me look real fast. It is Lieutenant. Oh man, Lieutenant. That's yeah, one that we thing. we love this. There you go. And it is 65 oh 55 to 65 days. Oh, that's a good one. I didn't realize Lieutenant was so early. We couldn't get it last year. And he saw it. I actually tried to grow this. I still don't know why my seeds were so bad, and I got them from different places. How many days? 55 to 65 days. That's pretty awesome. So, about two months to be broccoli. Can you guys see these yellow leaves like I'm telling you here yeah just throw them away you really need to pick them up and discard them because it does attract bugs Is that it? Is that it for the manure? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's enough for now. Okay. Well, I'll just come and follow because I've got two on the end down there.
Hey guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end the video. But we just want to thank you for being with us on our journey, our homestead journey. And tune in for more because we have lots more to do all summer. <laughs> and have a great day from Lazy K Homestead.